everybody. Hope you're having an amazing day so far. All right, so today's video is going to be an accessories haul. I've never done one of these, so please do like the video if you do like these kind of things. If not, then I won't do it again, but I thought you guys might like to see a bunch of accessories that I've been collecting over the past couple of months. I kind of go accessory crazy. Like when there's a sale, I am the first person to walk in and buy a million different things. And then most of the time I will find items that aren't on sale, but they're really cute. So then I kind of rationalize, well, I'm saving money if the rest of the stuff is on sale. So I may as well buy the other thing at full price. It's a deep, dark spiral. And basically I have a lot of jewelry. <laughs> so let's jump in. There's a lot of pieces that I want to show you. And I also have some makeup stuff that I want to show you at the end of this as well. So the first store that I shopped at was a store called Lovisa, and the bag looks like this. It has been sitting on the side of my desk for like three weeks waiting to show you guys. I haven't actually worn any of it because I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll haul it later, and then it just doesn't ever happen. So I'm glad I'm finally doing this so I can actually wear this stuff. The first thing that I got was the earrings that I'm wearing. And they're a dangly drop earring. I really like how green they are. That's why I think I originally went, oh, they're so pretty. I'm not really a huge dangly earring person, but I really, really like the color and I don't own anything like that. So I thought, why not? The next thing that I got was a tribal inspired necklace. If I can untangle it from the other jewelry that's in the bottom of the bag. All right, so it is a tribal type necklace and this one was on sale. It originally was like 20 bucks and I don't remember what the sale was, maybe like 20% off, but it looks like this. I thought it would be perfect for summertime. The next thing that I got was a couple of headpieces, and one of the headpieces is for me, and one of them is for my friend Jenna. Um, Jenna, I doubt you're watching this, but if you are, I have your headpiece. She saw me wearing one on Instagram. She's like, this is amazing. I can't find anything like it. If you can find one, buy it for me. So I did. Uh, the one that I got for myself is a black one, and I don't own any black ones, but it looks like this. My hair is not styled, obviously, the way that I would style it, and the makeup isn't really exactly what I would wear with this, but this is what it looks like. And I got Jenna the exact same one, so that's what it looks like. It's just in silver. I also purchased some stud earrings, and I love my stud earrings. It's generally what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis, and I got just a pack of, I think it was two or three different styles, so I really, really like them. I think they're super cute and really easy to wear with whatever. And finally, from Lovisa, I got a ton of rings, like... I'm talking a ton of rings. Okay, so I'm going to come close up so I can show you all of these. But the first one was a pack of a bunch of silver rings. And I think it was like, seriously, like a pack of like 15 different rings. A bunch of different stones, a couple stackable rings, that kind of deal. And then the next ring that I purchased was this enormous wraparound ring. And it's really, really cool. It's quite uncomfortable to wear, but it looks kind of neat. So I like that one. And then I got a little stack of just kind of zigzaggy and I don't know, what do you call it? Like V-shaped rings. So they're painful to wear. <laughs> I will admit they're not something you probably want to be wearing all day long, but they do look really, really cool. The next brand that I got a few pieces at is called Eight Other Reasons. And I know a lot of you have seen it on Instagram and seen me wear it on Instagram because I already own quite a few pieces, but I got some of their new collection. One of the earrings that I got is their... Oh, I wish their name was actually on it. I'm not sure what the name is, but they're really, really spiky, kind of dramatic costume jewelry earrings. And there is little tiny crystal stud ones and then a larger crystal fan type earring. And then the next set of earrings that I got is a similar setup, but instead in a round shape with a white stone in the middle. And then I also got a similar one, but in blue. So I thought that that was gonna be cool. I don't know how comfortable these are gonna be as they seem to be quite a heavy earring. So again, probably not like an everyday type earring unless you don't mind having heavier earrings. I then got a smaller stud pair, which I think this would be more my style for every day. It's kind of just a coppery colored drop stud earring. And I also got a couple of ear cuffs and I've never worn these before and I have a very, very, high percentage of losing things like this, but I'm sure I will have fun while I do have them. Little baby ear cuffs, so that's fun. I also got a really cool hand piece, and I am obsessed with hand pieces. I already own a really cool one from them, but I saw this one, it was a little bit more simple than the one I've previously purchased, and it matches the copper drop earrings, so I thought that that was pretty cool. And I also got the matching body piece chain. So it is a huge body chain that basically you can drape whatever way you want over top of it, um, it has a little connector piece that's that copper color in the middle, and then it splits 
uh, it splits down like that. So I think it'll look really cute with a bikini. It looks really, really nice with simple dresses and stuff like that. So yeah, I like it. You could also wear it, I guess, as a necklace, but the copper piece might not sit absolutely straight. But that's all right, still really cute. The next store I got a few things from was Princess P Jewelry. And I think a lot of you in LA might know that brand. A lot of you over here in Australia might not. She has really, really cool pieces and super like fashion forwardy, costumey pieces. So totally up my alley. And I really, really, really love the girl who owns the company. She was a sweetheart. I met her at BeautyCon last year and I totally support small business stuff. So really, really enjoyed that. So I got a headpiece and I really like this one because you can adjust how big and how small you want it. It's really hard sometimes with uh, pre-adjusted head pieces, I guess, because sometimes it can be huge and then it will drape into your eyes, which just looks silly. So it's nice that you can kind of adjust this one. And it's kind of neat because it's a drapey one and I don't own any drapey ones like this. So it drapes and has a little crystal at each gathering. I thought it was super cute. And I also got a ring from her. It is a large bendable ring. It looks like this. It bends in the middle. It feels like if I punch somebody, it would really hurt them. So it's a good weapon ring. And I like my weapon rings. <laughs> I also got a dainty necklace from Princess P and it is an infinity necklace. And it reminds me of Revenge. I'm a huge Revenge fan and Glenn is too, although I do think that they should probably end it while it's like going good. But anyways, it is a little tiny infinity circle. That was the word that I was looking for, and it has little miniature diamonds inside of that infinity circle, and I love dainty necklaces, so that's that. And the last piece that I got from Princess P is absolutely enormous, and some of you are going to love it, and some of you are going to not like it as much, but I love it. It is a huge costume jewelry piece with a bunch of dazzly diamonds. Dazzly diamonds? It's a new word. But yeah, I think that this will look really, really great with a just simple black piece. The necklace can do the talking. It is really, really cool. So I love it. I think it's a great piece. So that is it for jewelry. Next up, I bought a few sunglasses. And I was shopping on Rock because I got an email because I'm subscribed to their emails. And they had, I think it was a 50% off or 40% off sale. Something like that. So of course, I decided that I should take advantage of that and buy several I'm obsessed with sunglasses. If you don't already know that, I have several drawers of them. I just, I love sunnies. I, well, I'm in Australia. I mean, I use them all the time, right? So I may as well get quite a few of them. <laughs> so the first pair that I got look like this. They have a kind of taupey gray top, and I don't think I've ever tried on a pair like this before. So it kind of surprised me, and I was like, yeah, I like them. But these are cool, and I like them a lot. The next pair is something that is more like a typical sunglass pair that I would reach for and they remind me of a style that I bought from, I can't remember the brand, but I bought them and essentially lost them within the first probably six months, which is unfortunate. So I wanted to buy a pair that was similar and these are similar. So they look like this, they have kind of tortoise shell around the outside. And this is definitely a typical Carissa style. The only thing about these is that I always wear really long eyelashes and they always smack into the sunglasses, which is annoying. But first world problems, right? <laughs> the next pair that I got was a mirrored pair. And I really like mirrored sunglasses and I haven't really found too many styles that suit me. This style, since I ordered these online, I didn't get to try any of them on before obviously they showed up at my house. And I like them, but they're still not like the ideal. But they do look really cool. I do find it hard with sunglasses like this though because they usually end up kind of crooked because my ears aren't even, like my face isn't even, I mean nobody's face is even, but like my ears are full on crooked. So they kind of sit a little bit lopsided, but I guess that is a conversation starter. And I also was gifted another pair of mirrored sunglasses because I was saying how much I wanted a pair and my friend ended up buying me a pair. These are from a brand called Local and it's an Australian brand and I love how the inside is pink and the front is mirrored. Super cute, they're really dirty, I apologize. But again, super cool mirrored and I really like them. This is like a super lightweight pair and I feel like this is perfect for like exercising or something like that. The last pair of sunglasses that I got was a bit of a splurge. I saw them on Kim Kardashian and I went <gasps> and that was how they ended up in my collection. <laughs> they were sold out of stock basically on every single website that I kept checking on and then I finally found a website that had them coming in in a couple weeks so I ordered off of them. Can't remember what it was but I basically saw it in the YouTube ads on the side of a video 
classic Carissa. They are the Celine shadows. So they look like this. They have a super ombre effect. And again, it's kind of funny because they sit a little bit funny on me, but I think I can get them adjusted just because the arms are a little bit adjustable. But I love them. I feel like Kim Kardashian when I wear them. And yeah, I feel, I feel like a boss. <laughs> Before I get into the makeup that I purchased, I wanted to show you one other piece that I got. It is a toque or a beanie for everybody who's not Canadian. Canadians call them toques, so that is what I always call them. Um, my friend showed me this brand and it is called Lilia. And basically he sold it by saying Margot Robbie likes this brand and she wears it. And then he showed me a picture of her wearing it and I went, I should probably wear that too. And it also kind of looks like cat ears when you wear it. Like, it looks weird with straight hair, but, like, it's pretty cute, Beanie. And, I mean, it's winter in Australia, or it's coming to winter, and anything that makes me look like a cat, I'm just, like, sold. So, sold. I needed a new beanie. I got a new beanie. And I feel really cool. Like, you wear this with, like, plaid and slouchy jeans, and you just look like a badass. So, totally sold on this. After I straighten my hair out. Okay, so... Makeup wise, I purchased a bunch of stuff from Makeup Geek and a lot of you were recommending it. I've never tried any of their products before and I just heard nothing but good. So I went a little crazy, as one would. I'm probably going to end up doing a proper like swatch thing on my blog just so that I don't have to swatch like five arms doing this because I got so many colors. But I will read out the colors that I got you and I will show you them in the pan. So the first one that I got is Mocha and it is a super dark matte brown. The next one that I got is Country Girl and it's kind of like a purpley plummy color with a little tiny bit of shimmer or whatever you would call it. The next one I got was Shima Shima, and I love that name because I like the sound of it. <laughs> it looks like a shimmery kind of pearlescent, pearlescent, is that even a word? A pearly color. <laughs> the next one is Peach Smoothie, and I saw Jaclyn Hill use this in a tutorial, so I bought it. I mean, who's with me? The next one that I got was Mango Tango, and this one is kind of like a burnt mango color. The next one that I got is Drama Queen, and it's like a really deep dark purple with a bit of shimmer in it. The next one that I got is Creme Brulee, it is a matte color. The next color is Glamorous, and the next one is Frappe, and it is again a warm tone matte brown. I also got Last Dance. The next one that I got is Unexpected, and it's kind of like a muted lilac color, kind of like a grey tone lilac. The next one that I got is Bitten, and it is a really deep maroon color. I'm excited to use that. And then I also purchased another color that is a little bit more purple than maroon, and that is Burlesque. And the last couple of colors I got were Corrupt, which is a black. I got a really warm tone terracotta color called Coca Bear, and I love this color. I've already used it a couple times. Stunning. And the last color that I got from Makeup Geek is Prom Night, and it is kind of like a taupey purple color. Super nice, and all of these shadows feel like butter. Like, ah! They are probably one of the best quality shadows that I've ever used. So get ready to see these in a lot of tutorials because these are probably going to be my new favorite colors. Finally, I decided to purchase a BH palette. I already own quite a few of them, and a lot of you had suggested the next one that I should get is the Eyes on the 70s palette. So I thought I would try it, and I used this today for my eye makeup. And I'm not sure if I'm going to post the eye makeup video before or after this video. So if it's after, go check it out. If it's before, then get excited to see this makeup look. Oh, I lied. I also got one more thing off of Makeup Geek. It is this lip liner in... What is the brand? Palladio. It is super baby pink and I just needed a really really super pink lip liner because I don't own anything like it. So that is everything that I got in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please thumbs up so that I do know that you like this video and I'll do something like it maybe again in the future. I think that's everything from me. I will talk to you guys in my next video. See ya! Mm -hmm.